Football obviously is the most fancied sport in Ghana. Little wonder, last session of the youth venture into it as a profession with dreams of playing at the highest level. In their quest to play for their dream clubs, they will need intermediaries who will negotiate contractual deals on their behalf. Some footballers are unlucky to fall into the hands of crooked agents. In their quest to become world beaters, unsuspecting footballers get swindled by unscrupulous football agents whose activities have led to killing of dreams. Countless players have seen their promising football dreams dashed. One of such players is 20-year-old Osman Nyaku Ibrahim. Osman's desire of traveling to Italy with the aim of seeking greener pastures as a footballer got crashed as he was duped by a so-called football agent. Agent B. Fee. As a organ hire, I was going to Italy. I'm going to play players five. What can I say? So you want to go to Italy or the airport? Na ticket na kusro, nti yesu yentu ya skani bi four thousand, and ambo is five, nti ubi yentu ya four thousand ni vi. There was an agent here in Ghana who said he wanted players. He began with the traveling arrangements after he made us pay an amount of four thousand Ghana cities, but we never saw him afterwards. Nyimbo tim ya sisi ya. He tells me life has been unbearable, but he has not given up on his dreams of playing for one of the biggest clubs in the world. Mitu mako timu sisi ya bae Ibiya sika semini ya Kombe dimini ya diadi niti ama I am now helpless I wish to continue with my football career But due to financial challenges I can't If I get the chance to travel out of the country I would really like that Mukura rebe ho bae me ase Miwo determination say it's not the end Football agent Are not the only bad nut with respect to the subject of fraud in football some clubs also dupe players by going against contracts signed. Abraham Poji narrates his ordeal. I was in Ghana when a man came to me telling me about a team in Dubai wanting a goalkeeper. So I showed them my CV and they were interested. And so they told me that they would, they would give me a visa. Then I would go for, I would pay for my ticket. So I told them I, I, I don't have the money. So I went to sell my TV went for a loan before getting the money for the ticket. We went to Dubai. I was in Dubai, 15 in a room, single room. So after the season, I tried, I tried after the, uh, the season, I told them I have to come back to my country. They told me that they don't have any money for me to come back to my country. So I had no option than to call home. Then some of my friends contributed for the plane ticket for me to come back home. You see, Chipsa is an astute intermediary who has brokered deals for a lot of players both home and abroad. He cautioned players not to be desperate to travel and also gives insight to players on who a genuine agent is. I, I always tell players to be patient. I think sometimes they need to they need to take a portion of the of the blame. They are so desperate, they are in a hurry that every player wants to travel abroad. Every player wants to play in Europe, but you should be able to tell when you are ready for the foreign market because it is not easy there. I think it all depends on, on the client, that is the player. It's up to you. It, it's your sole responsibility to know what kind of agent you are working with. I mean, you should be able to do a background check about the person, uh, his, his track records. Former FIFA president Sir Blatter in 2008 said, football agent duping players has a negative effect on the development of football in Africa. He described it as a form of slavery, hence the need to bring an end to it. Nana Ama Ajiman, reporting for GH1 Sport, Accra.